Nobody's coming. <clears throat> Of course, there's a dead bird right here too. So let's just go ahead and take care of two, two birds with one stone, so to speak. Get him right over there out of the way. Okay, put this back and put this in the front. <clears throat> All right, that's that. I'll throw that away tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm North Central, and as you can see, we are driving down the road again. I just got off work and I'm driving down the highway here, headed home, and sure enough, there's another deer carcass in the middle of the road. Well, it's not the middle of the road, but on the side of the road, half of it's in the road, and cars have got to swerve to get it. It's right up here. In fact, we're just getting ready to pass it right, right here to the left. And we're gonna drag this thing off the road. It, uh, it's gonna start getting busy here before too long. Um, about that time when people are going to start definitely getting home so we're going to go ahead and take care of this right now so So, deer's out of the road. Cars don't have to swerve around it now. I picked up the 
of debris left over from the car. Uh, looked like it hit it with it uh, with its mirror. Well, the side of the car and the mirror. The mirror uh, suffered most of the damage. It was laying on the side of the road, enough to knock it off the car. So they probably stopped, got out, looked at the damage, saw the dead deer, didn't do anything about the deer, and then griped and complained and cussed all the way home that they hit a damn deer. And in reality, they left parts of their car for about 100 yards down the road. And I picked all of it up and I'm gonna go to throw it in the trash now, it's trashed. But uh, you know, um, pick your stuff up. Let's try and keep our roads a little bit cleaner. Watch what you're doing too, especially if you know you're in a high traffic area from here. So there's another dead animal carcass on the side of the road. It looks like it's gonna be a raccoon. I really hate to see animals dead on the side of the road. I wish there was something that we could do about it. I know there's really not much we can do about it. These are nocturnal animals mostly that's on here and you know you have a limited visibility at nighttime. I understand that. The only thing I can say is drivers, you know, try and stay a little bit more uh, aware, I guess. But I'm gonna run over there real quick and get this thing off the road and and then I'll get on down the road. Put him right over here. Listen in peace, brother. All right. 